Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to print the first few rows of observations in a data frame in R using head function and then last a few rows of the same data frame using tail function. Then we will write our own customized function that prints the m number of rows from the top and n number of rows from the bottom of the data frame. Let's get it started. I assume that you have already installed data.table package from the CRAN. I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is uh, to load the package first and then using a function data.table from that package, I pass on a couple of information to generate a sample data for me on which I'll be working on. Here in what I'm doing I'm creating two columns. One of them is iteration. Other one is sample data as the names. The iteration column will have in data up to 10,000 points and it's, uh, it's a range between 1 and 100. That means 1 repeated uh, up to 100 times and then, and then 2 repeated up to 100 times and 3 repeated 100 times and so forth. That means there will be total 10,000 rows of observations and that will contain say 100 times, 200 times, 300 times and so forth up to 100. In the second column sample data, I'm running a function. Basically what run if function is doing, it will generate n uniform random numbers between minimum some minimum value and the maximum value but I'm not passing those minimum value I'm asking this function to generate 100 uniform number for each of the iteration over here that means there will be total 10,000 of observations random observations so once this function is run the data will get generated and we print head of the data and tail of the data let's say I'm passing no number of phrase rows uh, by default it will be six so it prints six top observations for me and I can see iteration value is one 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 and the sample data basically contains randomly generated numbers then similarly we can see for the tail and uh, this time I'm passing n equals five that means print bottom five number of observations uh, from the um, data set data and we can see that so this one is uh, so these are the bottom five uh, uh, information in the uh, I mean that was simple but in the next task what I'm going to do I'm just going to combine suppose what I want as we can see head basically generates top uh, number of rows whatever you're passing on or by default by six until uh, generates uh, the bottom one uh, two different functions in the base packages actually we are using over here what I want to do I want to generate top n number of rows or tail or the bottom n number of rows uh, and I should do it in one go instead of typing two times I should have a function which takes on the data set and takes on the information like how many number of rows you want from head and how many number of you rows you want from the tail and prints the results depending upon the passed on information so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a head tail uh, um, uh, function which takes the data set information and also the default value of uh, number of rows you want to print for head or, or the number of rows you want to print for tail so I'm passing two values over here if I don't uh, this function is uh, created in a way suppose if I don't pass the second value so what it does whatever is the first value I'm passing on it will take as default the second one or otherwise if I pass both the one it will do the appropriate it will take the appropriate action so first thing is I'm printing head and I'm using head function 
I retrieve this data over here. I retrieve the number of rows that I'm asked to pass. I'm asked to print. I'm passing it over here. Similarly, I'm using tail function, passing the data to it, passing the data to it, and then passing the number of rows that I want it to print for me. So once this function is created, let's test it. I'm passing it, like I said, if I don't pass the second value, what it does, HL function that we have created up there, I'm passing the data set and I'm saying print six number of rows for header from, for, from the top and also six number of rows from the bottom. And that is what we got when we run this one, that is what we got. We can see like six observations were printed out from the head portion and another six were printed out from the bottom side. Now in the in the next example if I take if I pass uh, um, a number of rows to be printed from the head to be six and number of rows to be printed from the tail to be five. I use head tail function pass on the data and pass on the values m m equals uh, 6 or n equals 5 and we can see the result we can see it uh, uh, the the head function has uh, returned me six number of uh, observations while tail function actually has returned me uh, 5 as that what I asked it to do so this was that simple using head and tail together I created a function like this way and and we can use it that's all from my side thank you very much see you next time